Hello everyone and welcome to my morning report on Thursday the 19th of February with me Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantech Markets. The uh, European trading session has gone off to a slightly corrective start, nothing too significant, um, although I suppose the, the weakness in the DAX um, accelerated a little bit but now has unwound slightly and both DAX and FTSE are around about two tenths of a percent lower. Um, we're getting a few conflicting signals actually, nothing uh, too decisive either way. You're actually seeing stronger Euro and Sterling today. Um, and weaker markets and uh, that's sort of interesting because we saw last night the Fed meeting minutes that came out strangely well I say strangely um, very slightly surprising on the dovish side really because obviously the, the, the original statement was just a contained a bit of a hawkish lean in terms of the changing of the wording of the statement but uh, the minutes suggested that the, the committee um, is still fairly cautious in terms of raising interest rates and when the cycle should begin um, and that sort of just hit the dollar a little bit overnight um, and just uh, just in the uh, late hours of US session um, and uh, the dollar came off slightly but equity markets in the states rallied on the back of that so it's a little bit maybe a little bit surprising that the um, the uh, European markets are slightly lower today um, we've got um, or we had last night also the the ECB announcing a release of an extra three billion euros worth of funding for Greek banks and that was slightly underneath the expectation of 5 billion or what certainly what the Greeks had been hoping for. So perhaps that's taken a little bit of um, bit of the uh, steam out of the rally in these European equity markets. Um, but generally speaking what we're seeing is slightly corrective equities and uh, slightly dollar uh, <coughs> negative moves today. Um, we saw a big bounce in gold actually yesterday um in uh, on the back of those fed meeting minutes but interesting that we're seeing on this dollar index now starting to uh, if i zoom in slightly here you can see it's slightly moving below the 21 day moving average which has been pretty supportive really and not, never really gets below it i mean this period in october slightly trading below it but then obviously found support on this big uptrend that uptrend is quite a long way below where we're currently trading so it's still the prospect of this dollar correction or this near-term dollar correction this what we're seeing is we're, we're certainly into this fourth week of uh, the dollar sliding sideways um, and uh, I think that's pretty much indicative of the moves that we're seeing on not only dollar yen but also the euro uh, in um, in recent uh, weeks anyway but uh, it'll be interesting to see how this one develops but in terms of the uh, economic announcements what we've got today is the, f the first um, installment of um, ECB meeting minutes actually is the first time ECB have released meeting minutes um, and it'll be interesting to see how uh, the market reacts because obviously we had QE last time but it'll be interesting to see how um, how uh, what sort of dissenting voices were behind the uh, QE decision and um, certainly the Germans um, s slightly got their way in terms of um, in terms of risk sharing on um, on the uh, agreements and uh, on the purchases and it'll be um, a very interesting decision uh, sorry the decision that the markets make at 12:30 on term on the uh, announcement of those meeting minutes also we've got the US leading indicators today at, f at uh, 3 o'clock 0.3 percent expected there as a positive but slightly below the 0.5 percent that we saw last month um, so that sort of leads me to my chart of the day which is the Aussie dollar now the Aussie has been interesting recently because you actually the, the daily chart doesn't really show it particularly well but there is the prospect of a base pattern in this chart um, sort of a double bottom arguably and what we'd seen up to yesterday is just a move back towards that um, 78.50 resistance area uh, which I'll show you in a minute on the on the hourly chart but we just slightly backed off it again today so it's a, um, that's an interesting move in itself but um, what we've seen is the uh, these momentum indicators start to recover you've seen the stochastics actually pulling quite strongly higher um, and MACD lines having a bull crossover and start to recover as well but as I said I think that um, all along I think that um, this is still obviously very much counter trend this move uh, what we've got at the moment obviously this big selling pressure that we've had since uh, that big uh, dollar rally started in June we've had the uh, Aussie dollar coming considerably lower and I think that that is still counter trend in fact you could probably stick in a big downtrend here yeah you can and uh, that actually sort of still comes in there so this is just sort of a 
potentially a, a bit of a rebound within the rally uh, within the um, big dollar strong um, run which uh, has dragged this downtrend lower and I, uh, uh, my caution, as ever, is if this, uh, is if this recovery does start to take hold, then just bear in mind that bear market recoveries do tend to undershoot their uh, upside targets. So uh, just keep that in mind as well. And you've got this big resistance that comes in around 80.30, which was the old support, which becomes new resistance in this chart but looking on the intraday chart you'll see this 7850 level if you zoom out a bit you can see that 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 was the support back in uh, in late january and it's become the resistance so that is a big resistance now on on this uh, aussie dollar you did have a very 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 slight um move higher um on the 6th of feb but then you had the non-farm payrolls which dragged this uh, that dragged the aussie lower um but it certainly looks as though that the aussie is trying um, or has been trying to make a move on this resistance. Now today's price action certainly um, has sort of obviously pulled us lower sharply um, back towards this initial support, initial support around 77.70 which seems to be just holding at the moment. Um, 77.66 I suppose is the pip low but certainly you'd say that support is just holding on for the moment but this, the key interest, um, interesting pivot level that we've got on this chart is around uh, 7740, 7, I'll put that crosshair there because you've got the, the lows that we saw on the fourth and the and the eighth, uh, sorry, fourth and the ninth of Feb, and also we've seen some lows coming in in the last couple of days as well. So it certainly looks as though 7740 to 7750 is sort of like a a support range uh, in terms of a pivot level. Um, on this chart and uh, certainly if we started to lose tho those supports and um, start to trade consistently below it that would suggest that perhaps we're going to start to retreat again but at the moment I'm still hanging on to this potential uh, for a bull recovery um, but as I said on the daily chart it would still be very much counter trend and you've got to be aware of that um, if uh, if you do start to trade on the long side but certainly at the moment it just rolled over in the near term but the support is holding and whilst we trade above 77.40 um, we're okay in that regard and um, the momentum indicators on the alley chart still slightly positive um, RSI getting towards 70 consistently and uh, finding support in the uh, in the sort of mid 30s up towards 40 so uh, once again um, it looks just slightly still positive and the MACD lines on the on the uh, on the alley chart as well, but I suppose if you really were critical of this um, of this hourly chart, you'd argue that there's a very slight bearish divergence, but nothing too significant yet. And um, it's uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. But that support at 7740 on on the Aussie is key, I think. Anyway, I will uh, wish you good luck in your trading at that point, and I'll speak to you later. Thank.